Now, to tell you more about the innovative technology behind the console, let me introduce PlayStation 4 lead system architect, Mark Cerny. Thank you, Andy. When designing PlayStation 4, we had a vision of what gaming could become and created the necessary hardware to support it. We wanted a breadth of titles from AAA to Indie, and so we made sure that PS4 was easy for developers to use. We believed in creating a frictionless experience for the gamer, and so we made sure to equip PS4 with a hard drive to shorten load times, as well as the required support for suspending and quickly resuming games and playing as you download them. With that hardware as a foundation, we were able to realize our vision. And as a result, a vibrant gaming community has grown around the console. PS4 Pro is not intended to blur the lines between console generations. Instead, the vision is to take the PS4 experience to extraordinary new levels. First and foremost, our goal is to deliver high fidelity graphical experiences. With that in mind, we more than doubled the power of the GPU and adopted many new features from the AMD Polaris architecture, as well as several even beyond it. A number of hardware innovations support efficient rendering for 4K displays, allowing titles on PS4 Pro to reach resolutions not thought to be possible on console in 2016. For those gamers and developers who put a premium on achieving the smoothest frame rate possible, we're boosting the clock rate of the CPU. We understand that continuity of experience is important to the PlayStation community. Existing games will play as you're accustomed to on PS4 Pro, and we're providing a number of mechanisms for easily transferring your game library and entitlements from the standard model to the new console. We're also equipping PS4 Pro with a one terabyte hard drive to ensure that you'll have plenty of space for new experiences. The result of all these improvements is a console that provides unparalleled experiences for the 4K TV owner and truly excellent enhancements for those using HDTVs as well. We'll give you a, a detailed look at those aspects of PS4 Pro today, as well as show how transformative high dynamic range is for gaming content and what the new console offers for VR. 4K TV sets deliver an unprecedented level of detail. Today, we have, as an industry, been supporting 720p and 1080p HDTVs with one or two million pixels. 4K TVs provide a staggering eight million pixels of display resolution. The achievable visual depth and detail are extraordinary. Brute force rendering techniques can, of course, be used to support these displays, but they have unfortunate consequences for console cost and form factor. So, with PS4 Pro, our strategy has instead been to foster streamlined rendering techniques that can take advantage of custom hardware. When coupled with best-of-breed temporal and spatial anti-aliasing algorithms, the results can be astonishing. The titles I'm about to show you are impressively close to realizing the complete potential of 4K displays. These scenes were recorded in real time from PS4, uh, from PS4 Pro hardware and are playing back in the theater on a 4K projector. For those of you watching this from home, after the show, we'll be making the footage available in 4K on video on demand so that you'll be able to better appreciate the quality of the imagery we are showing today. These first images are from Marvel's Spider-Man game, developed by Insomniac and announced at E3 this year. The detail of the city is incredible. Minute features such as the pedestrians in the distance would just be blurs on an HDTV set, but here they are crisp characters. As for Spider-Man himself, the texture of the suit is breathtakingly clear in a way that it could never have been before. Here is For Honor from Ubisoft running on the new console. What we look for in games, the intensity and authenticity of experience, has never been more apparent. What you may find surprising is that the models and textures being used here, whether they be for the environment or for these two historic warriors, are in fact the exact same ones that were created for the standard PS4. The difference is in the high rendering resolution that PS4 Pro can support. It is simply transformative.
Long vistas and high-resolution geometry, as seen here in Deus Ex, Mankind Divided from IDOS, also highlight the power of the console and capabilities of 4K displays. The extreme level of detail visible in the game environments and characters, such as augmented hero Adam Jensen, brings a greater intensity and welcome new reality to the experience. That sense of reality can also heighten the level of emotional immersion, here bringing us closer to Lara Croft's unique combination of toughness and vulnerability. With Rise of the Tomb Raider, Crystal Dynamics has taken great care to apply the power of the hardware to all aspects of the game, whether it be Lara's hair, face, clothes through weapons, or the shaders, geometry, and special effects that give the environment solidity and realism. This is truly a showcase of how PS4 Pro can transform gaming. Now, to tell you more about the innovative technology behind the console, let me introduce PlayStation 4 lead system architect, Mark Cerny. Thank you, Andy. When designing PlayStation 4, we had a vision of what gaming could become and created the necessary hardware to support it. We wanted a breadth of titles from AAA to indie, and so we made sure that PS4 was easy for developers to use. We believed in creating a frictionless experience for the gamer, and so we made sure to equip PS4 with a hard drive to shorten load times, as well as the required support for suspending and quickly resuming games and playing as you download them. With that hardware as a foundation, we were able to realize our vision. And as a result, a vibrant gaming community has grown around the console. PS4 Pro is not intended to blur the lines between console generations. Instead, the vision is to take the PS4 experience to extraordinary new levels. First and foremost, our goal is to deliver high fidelity graphical experiences. With that in mind, we more than doubled the power of the GPU and adopted many new features from the AMD Polaris architecture, as well as several even beyond it. A number of hardware innovations support efficient rendering for 4K displays, allowing titles on PS4 Pro to reach resolutions not thought to be possible on console in 2016. For those gamers and developers who put a premium on achieving the smoothest frame rate possible, we're boosting the clock rate of the CPU. We understand that continuity of experience is important to the PlayStation community. Existing games will play as you're accustomed to on PS4 Pro, and we're providing a number of mechanisms for easily transferring your game library and entitlements from the standard model to the new console. We're also equipping PS4 Pro with a one terabyte hard drive to ensure that you'll have plenty of space for new experiences. The result of all these improvements is a console that provides unparalleled experiences for the 4K TV owner and truly excellent enhancements for those using HDTVs as well. We'll give you a, a detailed look at those aspects of PS4 Pro today, as well as show how transformative high dynamic range is for gaming content and what the new console offers for VR. 4K TV sets deliver an unprecedented level of detail. Today, we have as an industry been supporting 720p and 1080p HDTVs with one or two million pixels. 4K TVs provide a staggering eight million pixels of display resolution. The achievable visual depth and detail are extraordinary. Brute force rendering techniques can, of course, be used to support these displays, but they have unfortunate consequences for console cost and form factor. So, with PS4 Pro, our strategy has instead been to foster streamlined rendering techniques that can take advantage of custom hardware. When coupled with best-of-breed temporal and spatial anti-aliasing algorithms, the results can be astonishing. The titles I'm about to show you are impressively close to realizing the complete potential of 4K displays. These scenes were recorded in real time from PS4, uh, from PS4 Pro hardware and are playing back in the theater on a 4K projector. For those of you watching this from home, after the show, we'll be making the footage available in 4K 
on video on demand so that you'll be able to better appreciate the quality of the imagery we are showing today. Full of photorealism that you've never experienced in a game. Daytime scenes are great for showcasing HDR, but nighttime scenes show its potential as well. Here, the Freaker Horde has come out to feed. Luckily, crafting is a big part of Days Gone, and Deacon has managed to assemble a few Molotov cocktails. Those who played Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4 may remember this interactive chase scene. You're now seeing it at much higher resolution and in HDR, which makes it even more of a spectacle. Part of why image quality improves so much with HDR is that it's possible to have key areas of the screen, such as these explosions, that are dozens of times brighter than what a conventional TV can display. This is Fetch, the hero in infamous light from Sucker Punch. Fetch is a superhero who can harness the power of neon lights. If you think that sounds like something that would show off HDR well, you'd be right. We believe that the potential of HDR is incredible. But you don't need a 4K TV or an HDR TV to experience the benefits of PS4 Pro. The game knows what sort of display the console is hooked up to, and consequently developers are free to tailor the experience to best fit the type of TV being used. So if you connect PS4 Pro to an HDTV, here's some of what you'll see. First up is a comparison of standard model and PS4 Pro graphics on Paragon. Epic Games has chosen to increase the quality of the graphics in a great number of ways. Enhanced visual effects, procedural ground cover, higher scene complexity, greater texture fidelity, dynamic reflections, and more. Warner Brothers is supporting HDTVs on Shadow of Mordor with a number of different modes. Here you can see how super sampling anti-aliasing is used to bring the detail of the high resolution imagery over to a 1080p display. This is For Honor from Ubisoft again, this time playing on an HDTV. You can see how the extra power of the new console is used to boost the visual density of the scenes and also to bring much of the impressive richness of the 4K graphics over to lower resolution displays. So you may have noticed that several of these titles, including Paragon, Infamous First Light, and Shadow of Mordor, are titles that have already been released. That's another aspect of the PS4 Pro experience. A number of games that you already own may have been patched to play better on the console. We're referring to this upgrading of your library as forward compatibility. Patches for over a half dozen first party titles are in the works, as well as quite a few from our third party partners. Finally, I'd like to show you how PS4 Pro works with a PSVR headset. We are very proud of the breakthrough experiences that the headset provides with the standard model. With PS4 Pro, the developers can choose to increase the crispness of the VR scenes, make special effects richer, or to offer higher frame rates, making your VR experiences even more immersive. For Farpoint, Impulse Gear chose to focus on the detail and reality of the scenes. They have roughly doubled the rendered pixel count from that of the standard model, allowing them to breathe further life into their virtual universe. With PS4 Pro, we aim to provide developers with the tools and technologies that can further their creative vision. One developer that's truly embraced the potential of the new console is Guerrilla Games. Let's take a look at some never-before-seen gameplay from the highly anticipated Horizon Zero Dawn, which showcases what can be achieved on both 4K and high dynamic ra uh, range displays. Thank you.
Thanks very much, Mark, and thank you, Guerrilla Games. PS4 Pro will bring about a transformation in the way that gamers experience their favorite titles. At the same time, we're working hard to ensure that PS4 remains a single, unified community. The same disks and downloads will run on both the standard model and PS4 Pro. But they will play in multiple ways. In addition to support for the standard model, we're asking our publishing and development partners to consider how they can best support PS4 Pro on 4K TVs and also on HD TVs with each and every title. One great example of this transformation will be with the launch of Call of Duty. To share with you how Call of Duty is driving the new level of gaming experience on PS4 Pro, please welcome Activision CTO Andy Hendrickson. On behalf of Activision and our talented studio teams, it's exciting to be here today to talk about our future with PlayStation, PlayStation 4 Pro. There's nothing else like Call of Duty. The immersion. That visceral feeling that you are starring in your own epic action experience. Our studio teams leverage every ounce of the console to deliver the greatest possible detail to surround players and immerse them in a stunning and lifelike world. Our developers couldn't be more excited about what PS4 Pro has to offer. With its greater memory bandwidth and enhanced GPU, we can now deliver richer textures and 4K graphics on top of our trademark 60 frame a second gameplay. I'm proud to share that this fall, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered will support PS4 Pro out of the box day one. And for you Black Ops 3 fans, don't worry. Black Ops 3 will also support PS4 Pro on day one with an online title update. We're talking one unified Call of Duty community wherever they play, playing together on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. So let's take a look. This clip is from a mission called Operation Dark Quarry. During this mission, you and your crew answer a distress call from a mining facility on an asteroid that's been knocked out of orbit. It's a harsh environment. Because of its proximity to the sun, getting caught outside could be deadly. This is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on PlayStation 4 Pro. We're going down there. Search and rescue. Stick together. Keep out of the sun. 900 degrees in the sun? Oh, shit. Find these civilians. Get all alive. place out of orbit. Everyone spread out. Let's see what we can find. Coming for you. Worker drones. Dog. Why are they moving like that? There's blood on the walls. Got a dead civilian here.
Hi, everyone. I'm Aaron Flynn. Across EA right now, developers are combining the power of Frostbite with the power of PS4 Pro to bring even more amazing visuals and gameplay to our players. This year, both FIFA 17 and Battlefield 1 will support the new console. And early next year, we'll be bringing Mass Effect Andromeda to PS4 Pro. Yeah, thanks. Mass Effect Andromeda is going to take you to a whole new galaxy, and playing that experience on PS4 Pro is going to be incredible. You'll be totally immersed in Andromeda, discovering all new alien worlds brought to life with sharper graphics and high dynamic range lighting. We're also able to create more lifelike characters, which will continue to allow you to experience the best stories you can play. Let's take a peek at how Mass Effect Andromeda looks and plays on PlayStation 4 Pro. Here we find Ryder and his companions deep in an unexplored level of the game. Please enjoy. Another remnant right in our way. Watch your step, okay? No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. It made a new path. Remember, they don't turn nasty unless you get too close. Is that the Helios Cluster? Yeah. There we are. All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Hey, look there. The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be... Good. <laughs> 